Hello Rolf. Uh, this time around it's another review. Um, it'll be Castlemaine 4x Gold Full Flavoured Lager from the Castlemaine Brewery in Castlemaine, Queensland. That's Australia for those who don't know. Um, it's the Prides of Queensland as well, just in case you're wondering. Uh, yeah, and also it's got a pregnancy warning. So alcohol can cause lifelong harm to your baby, even if you just give it one pint. So yeah, uh, it's three point five percent alcohol volume, which for an Australian, you know, because you know everyone has the like belief that all Australians are like violent drunks. Obviously, don't want to stereotype, but uh, you know that's what the stereotype is. So for the, this to be a three point five percent. You know, I actually think maybe the maybe the guys in Queensland are a bit lightweight. Don't know. I'm not sure. Answers on a postcard and all that bollocks. Uh, I need to take a look at it just so we can get a better look at it. So, yeah. The can looks very bland and generic. You know, it's, it looks like it hasn't really gotten. It hasn't really. I mean, I remember this used to be widely available in the nineties, and it looks like they basically kept the everything the same, which you know. Stick to your roots, I suppose. Could be a lot worse. Uh, fuck, I'll just throw this out there. So, yeah, this is. Um, I don't know if this is my first Australian one. Probably isn't, but whatever. Um, I can't remember, I've done that many now. Uh, so, yeah, I'll open it up, throw it in a glass, see if it really is gold. And then from there, we'll sniff it, and then we'll drink it. So, yeah. Turn it around so you can properly see it again. Not that you can't see the other can. I'm just being overly generous, and that's what it is. And just. Okay, so. Bugger, bugger, bastard bollocks. Uh, yeah. Nice one fingered head right there. And carbonation. Very much a moderation. It's not bubbly at all. It's slightly bubbly, in fact. And yes, it is gold, so it literally does what it says on the tin. Um, is it full flavoured though? Don't know. First things first, let's have a sniff. <sighs> I haven't done that for ages. But now I just did. What about fucking head just went up my nose? Okay, biscuity. Malty. A slight grassy smell, but other than that, it's mostly biscuity malty. You know, you like your digesters, maybe the Australians do, or whatever their equivalent to a chocolate digester. It's not chocolate, plain, fuck, forget it. No chocolate digesters on this channel, fuck off. But yeah, it's like a, uh, it's like a normal digestive with a bit of malt, a tiny hint of grass, but not much. The grass is light. So, we know what it looks like. You know what it smells like. But the most important thing for all of us to figure out is the taste. Now, will it be Castlemaine 4X or will it be Castlemaine 4 Cough? Well, there's only one way to find out, folks. And you know what that is? Bottoms up and up your bottoms. Here we go. Well, the mouthfeel was good, um, but I can see why this is 3.5% because it was not too bad then. Just took a big fuck off gulp. Alright, I'll take another one. Nah, again it's bland, it's very bland. Um, yeah. Mm, no, no. <laughs> it's just not on two. 
it just tastes like slightly like I don't even know to, it, it's it's just weak it's very weak it's like you know I'll sip it maybe I'll try again what else a bit just that I had a KFC Zinger burger before and it's repeating on me a bit so if it's not a bit I'm tasting that so no amount of alcohol can change this Tastes like sparkling water mixed with grass. I don't know, slight bit of grass. That, that's about as good as I can say to taste this. It's a bit shit. I mean, I had to, um, I went on um, the internet to get this Beers of Europe I got it from. And, uh, because they don't sell it all that widely. And they used to think, that was them popular. Why aren't they selling it that much anymore? Now I know why. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not really worth importing and selling, is it, to be honest? It's kind of like more of a... It's more of a... I mean, it's the people of Queensland are easily pleased if they like this en masse. That's all I can say. No offence if you're from Queensland, but if you are and you like this, then, you know, you, you probably look at my penis and think, God, that's big. No one's ever done that before. So, uh I hope we meet one day because I could do with the ego boost. But yeah, seriously, um, it's not special at all. This is uh, I, I'd, I'd I'd give this a two out of ten because it's, it's it smells okay, the mouth feels okay, but everything else is just there's nothing to it. You may as well just drink alcoholic sparkling water <laughs> if they if they sell that, which they probably do somewhere. There's some mad bastard that sells it. So yeah, get that instead. Don't don't import this from Australia. And if you're in Australia, don't get this. There's probably better beers out there. And I'm gonna try them, maybe. Because there's VB, there's two E's, and I think there's another two E's there, in the box out there that I ordered from years ago. And I'm gonna give them a go. So yeah, maybe, just maybe, they can fill the gap that Forex has clearly left in my heart. Uh, yeah, because this ain't not special. Nonetheless, I hope you've enjoyed this video more than I've enjoyed making it because this has been a bit disappointing. I want to be honest with you, it really has. I'm probably going to go to bed tonight and I'm probably going to have a bit of a cry over because I've never been so disappointed in my life. And, um, I mean it. I really do. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So yeah. Hope you have a good night. Signing out. Take care everyone.